Diamondbacks crushed by the San Diego Padres in the series finale, losing 10 to 5. Hello there, I am Michael McDermott from AZ Snake Pit. We're going to be recapping all 162 games here in the 2022 season, so make sure to hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. Make sure to like the video. Recommend this to everyone that hasn't seen the game yet, kind of just recapping what happened. So in this game, Caleb Smith versus Blake Snell. Snell ended up being scratched from the game right before game time with a groin issue. So now the D-backs ended up facing Neville Krismat, Bill Krismat, pitcher that's kind of been a journeyman reliever pitcher that got an emergency start in this game. D-backs couldn't really hit him. Well, they didn't hit really anyone for eight innings in this game. And on the other so and side, they ascended in Caleb Smith. Smith had a pretty decent first inning, quick one, two, three inning. But unfortunately, uh, things kind of fell off in the second inning. First batter, ground ball, the second base, Marte kind of kicked, Marte boots it. And then that's where uh, it fell apart from there. Meltdown from Smith. Ended up walking the next two hitters, but, and it wasn't anywhere near the strike zone. Fell behind Jerks and Profar, let the slider up in the zone, and Profar hit it. Did not miss that pitch for the second time. So that put the Dimebacks quickly behind 4 nothing in that one. 4 nothing, not too insurmountable, but then... Next batter, Jorge Alfaro, another long home run, same area. So then it's like, uh-oh. Here we go again, territory. So then Smith would end up walking the last batter he faced before getting lifted for Corbin Martin. I thought Corbin Martin did okay. Gave up the single to Trent Grisham, got a couple of nice plays behind him to get out of that second inning. And he gave the team a little bit of length, 74 pitches in this one. Kind of how it ended, how his outing ended was kind of disappointing. Give up a run in the fifth inning, and in the sixth inning, he actually... Was in position to escape a jam after he got a huge strike out of Profar with a really good slider. Ended up uh, uncorking two wild pitches with runners at second and third. And it scored both runs, made it 8 nothing. That's kind of just one of those things that's like, you're so close, yet you're so far. Situation. It's like, this team isn't quite ready to compete. Sometimes you feel like this team isn't quite ready. They're learning how to compete at this level as opposed to learning how to win. So then uh, I thought Martin pitched pretty decently. I think if you were to get ask me who I think should start in five days in five games, I'd probably give Martin the uh, edge over Smith, but obviously one game isn't necessarily a reason to make judgment. Although the way Smith pitched that second inning, I would be uh, very hesitant to announce him as a starter when they travel to New York and Washington in the road trip. Uh, that spot comes up in the last game of the Mets series, I believe on Sunday since the team has two off days this week. So anyway, I thought Martin looked pretty decent. Maybe you give him enough. Maybe you give him a run. I don't know. Kind of thing. Give him a run, see what he does. I think it's more important. The team sees what they have in Corbin Martin as a starting pitcher than Caleb Smith. Because Smith only has two years of control left. Martin still has the full six years and he could still be around when all those other arms in double a triple a come up the next couple years so anyway going back to the offense it was pretty it was sad trombone for uh five innings the team was drawing walks but then it was just one really really bad at bat through the entire inning off each time kind of situation third uh second inning they had back-to-back -back walks in fact they had two runners in scoring position couldn't quite get the job done in fact, they have one hit with a runner in scoring position, and uh, we all know what that one is. Or at least before this game, there was only one hit with a runner in scoring position. So there wasn't much offense. Sixth inning, Deaton down 10 nothing. Christian Walker, sinker down and in. Golfs at the left field for his first homer of the season. He's going to need Walker to hit 20-plus this year. So perhaps maybe it's just one swing gets the players, one, one swing of being on time in the play. Maybe that's the confidence this team needs. You can tell they're kind of there's a lack of confidence surrounding this team. As soon as the, as soon as one thing goes wrong, it's like everything kind of just drops. And then there wasn't any offense until the ninth inning. I thought there were some pretty good bats there in the ninth inning. Geraldo Perdomo drew a lot of walks in the series, drew another one. I think he had like four. So four walks in the series. Like, there are some at bats where he's uncompetitive, but at least he's, I feel like he at least tries to work the count kind of thing. So I'll, 
still kind of trying to find a swing, both short and long term. And then uh, walk, two outs, nice base hit by McCarthy, full count, fouled off some pitches, got a fastball up and got a finally got something up and out over the plate, and he just hit a rocket up the middle, 102.8 off the bat. So yeah, that was that was a situation where it's like, okay, they finally put two good at bats in a row, kind of thing. That's something they've struggled with all year, save for that ninth inning in uh, game one. Where they put four good at bats in a row. We all know how that ended. So two good at bats there in that ninth inning. Hummel comes, uh, Ellis comes up to the plate. Ellis has just completely struggled for three games. And then I thought as the game was going on, his swing was starting to get more and more on time. Got a, something out over the plate. Doesn't try to do too, too much with it. Ends up hitting a single to right center. That scored Perdomo. McCarthy took ended up taking third because McCarthy is the fastest player in the National League West. But uh, after that, and then Hummel, spite falling behind two strikes, finally got something up out over the plate. Hit an absolute missile onto the home run porch and right to the right of straightaway center field. That any questions I had about any sort of power for the game, I think it's like okay, that's that's solved. He can hit. He can. He has enough power to punish mistakes at this level. So it's like with Hummel, it's like the one question I was thinking about with him. It's uh, I'm not worried anymore. So it's like, I mentioned, I made a comment thread that it's like, okay, this guy definitely belongs. So it's like, it'd be interesting to see what the team's position player situation is. I think Hummel should be a guy that sticks around for a while, get some regular bats for being a switch hitter. I think there's always going to be chances for him. So yeah, the three run home run first major league hit first home run, get it all in one swing of the bat. Good, probably the one good moment for the game. And that's something, obviously, you're not going to... He's going to remember the home... We're all going to remember the home run more so than the score. Kind of thing, so... Definitely a, a nice note to go out on on in such a poorly played series. It was really bad. I think, obviously, you take a look at the series in general. I thought... But, uh, they got good performances out of Kelly and Davies in the starting rotation. I think that's definitely going to be big for the team. Zach Gallon goes tomorrow against Houston. I think Gallon is the team's best pitcher overall. We'll see what it does. I'll be at the game tomorrow. To give you a first-hand report of what went on kind of thing. So yeah, they'll be playing Houston. Two-game series. Off day Monday. Sorry, I'm not going to be there tomorrow. No game tomorrow. So yeah. Off day tomorrow, and then they'll play Houston Tuesday, Wednesday, day and night game. And then they'll go to, then they'll travel to New York to play the Mets and then Washington on their first road trip of the year. So, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, once again, I ask you to please hit the like button, subscribe to the AZ Snake Pit here on YouTube, and uh, leave a comment below if you think. Uh, what you thought about Cooper Hummel's performance in that ninth inning. Think if you think he has a chance to stick around for a little bit longer.